up everyone welcome to your second JavaScript tutorial in this tutorial we're actually going to be writing our first JavaScript so go ahead and get your notepad editors open and I'm using notepad plus and if you want to know how to get notepad plus then go to my XHTML tutorial and I'll walk you through how to get that and usually when you write JavaScript in a website that it usually goes in the head section or the body section of a website but just because we're learning how to write basic scripts I'm just gonna be writing it with nothing else just plain JavaScript and you can do this just fine so let's go ahead and start writing our first JavaScript now any JavaScript code that you write it has to go in between two script tags a beginning tag and an end tag here and here's what those look like the beginning tag looks like this it says script and then you need an attribute called type and you net need to set it equal to text slash javascript and this just makes it compliant with the uh, w3 standards it isn't this attribute isn't really necessary in some browsers but it will be later on so it's just good practice to have so here's the beginning script right here it tells your browser that we're starting to write javascript and of course the end script is just a basic end script tag and any code that we create any code goes right in between these two tags so with that being said let's go ahead and create our first script and as always we'll just write a basic script the output text on the screen and to do that in JavaScript you write document period write and that tells that the document we're working on we just want to write basic text on the screen and then after that you have two parentheses and a semicolon the semicolon right here says that it's the end of the line we're working on and anything we want to write goes in between the parentheses anytime we write a number we can just go ahead and write a number as you see if we save this and refresh our screen it just outputs the number on the screen but anytime we want to write text on the screen we have to enclose it in parentheses either double we'll just write easy house and as you see if we save this notice we have our text in double parentheses it will write easy house or you can enclose it in single parentheses as you see if we save it it will write easy house again one thing you can do is include text in no parentheses or put one double and one single oops as you can see anytime you do this we either get a blank screen or if you have your browser configured sometimes in Internet Explorer an error message will pop up so I always make sure when you're working with text you enclose it in similar parentheses and besides the document write which we won't really be using that much to get started there's another way to output text and that's with an alert box and to use this instead of document write we just write alert now any text that we write is going to show up in an alert box on our browser as you can see a little box pops up and you need to click OK to continue and of course the rules are the same with numbers anytime you have a number you don't enclose it in parentheses so as you see if we save this alert box will pop up with our number written inside so now that we covered how to write basic text on the screen as well as just basic numbers and how to enclose everything in our script tags next lesson we're going to be going over something a little more useful called variables so study this tutorial and learn how to output text on the screen and then watch my next tutorial thanks